handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Aqueduct Racetrack here on Thursday. It is the 5th of January 2023. Gonna look the fifth race from Aqueduct, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world and join me for tomorrow's program, uh, night one of the Dubai World Cup Carnival from Maidan. So uh, some good racing there, so join for that. But I think it's a good card today from Aqueduct. I was actually there on Saturday, uh, on Sunday on New Year's Day, and uh, you know that early pick four was 24 bucks. It was horrible. Late, later in the card, you had some good races. Um, I believe there was a pick um, five carryover today, um, late pick five carryovers, carryover, so just keep that in mind, but, um, you know, it was, a, it was a very chalky beginning of the card Sunday at Aqueduct, and every time I go to Aqueduct, it seems lately, I get sick a day later, um, last month it was COVID, this time it's a uh, sinus infection, so it's, it's always something at, uh, Aqueduct for me when I go there, uh, <laughs> but let's get to the fifth race, excuse me, from Aqueduct, which is the allowance race, purse $82,000. Race for four-year-olds and upwards, never won 18000 on the main claim starter or state bird allowance race, which never won two races here. We have a field of seven horses going to the main track, the distance of ground of 1,900 meters, or the distance of ground of a mile and three sixteenths on the aqueduct main track, a unique distance that I absolutely love. <clears throat> 1,900 meters, a mile three sixteenths. And um, I think they should run more of these races here in New York. Um, you know, hopefully this winter they this winter they do because uh, these mile three sixteen mile and a quarter races could be very exciting at times. So, um, you know, like I said, hopefully they do. Maybe so, like a few claiming races at a mile and a quarter would be nice. I know they run that big marathon race and at a mile three eights on the called the Stud Muffin at the end of the Aqueduct meeting uh, for the claiming horses. So maybe they can have some good prep races. But like I said, love the longer distance races. I'm going to take the four horse gasoline as a top selection. Let's go 4716 in the Superfecta. 4716 Super, top selection of four horse gasoline. This four year old gelding by Curlin, top lecture trains. Our Concell gets to mount. The horse's most recent on came the 2nd of December at Aqueduct, a mile and eighth in allowance race, 90,000. And he finished six by 10 lengths that day. And he just kind of stalked, but never had the good turn of foot. First start in a little bit. He probably need the race. Second off the bench, coming here today, longer trip, which I think he should absolutely like. I think he's sitting on a good run. Uh, actually, at Goldstream yesterday, um, Pletcher won going a mile three sixteenth on a Tapita with the Rapoli horse, um, a very heavy favorite, but uh, first time gelding there, still won nicely, so maybe he can make it two days in a row winning over a mile three sixteenth Pletcher. Two back he ran at Aqueduct on the 29th of September, mile eighth in allowance for his 105,000, and he finished third by seven lengths that day, and again, he was stupid wide that day, and he just couldn't keep up of the up off with that um up with that wide trip it just wasn't his day to win there and then saratoga on the 28th of august mile nathan main special weight it took him quite a few races to break the main but winning by six and a quarter lengths on the front end all throughout he got the job done quite nicely and then up belmont one mile in the main special weight he finished fourth by seven and a half lengths that day stupidly wide but you know he he just needed the race i think he was going to get the tr uh, distance of ground very nicely five two i'm going to use him i think your second likely winner is a seven horse tonal impact um for kendra carmouche and linda Rice. Most recently, he first started in the, in the Rice Barn at Aqueduct, Mile and Nathan started a lounge race, drawn an 8 of 9, had no early speed that day, it was a little bit wide, but closed up well late, went by 4 and 3 quarter lengths. That was a very good run, first star in the barn. Before that, under the care of Asmussen and claiming 40 at Churchill over the mile, he won by a neck, and it took him a little bit of time to get going, but he got there in the nick of time. He's another horse, I think the Mile 316 should suit him well. It wouldn't surprise me, it's 7 to 5, let's use him to pick 5. But to recap my selection for the 5th from Aqueduct, let's take the 4-horse Gasoline, give kudos to the 7-horse Tonal Impact. 4716 Super, 47 in your multi race. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5. Good luck, everybody.